a 270 million year old engraving that was discovered in China. It's called the Hidden Character Stone. The message, Chinese Communist Party will perish. It mysteriously protrudes from this 270 million year old rock wall in Guizhou, China. You can read more about it beforeitsnews.com. I'll leave the link in the video description box. Let me read this to you real quick. In June of 2002, a 270 million year old hidden word stone was discovered in Gray Joe. A crack in the megalith revealed six characters neatly brush written in Chinese, saying the Chinese Communist Party dead. Now my question is, <laughs> how do they know about this 270 million years ago? I mean, I think of all sorts of red flags and BS meters way up right now. But let's get into more detail on this. Every character is nearly a square foot in size. The character dead is especially large. The characters are so clearly written that they appear as if they were carved. The official media in mainland China have all reported this news. People's Daily, CCTV, Technical Daily, Travel Satellite, China International Broadcasting Station, and 20 other media reporters, including People's Daily Net, Sinanet, Easternet, Sohu Net, Yahoo, New China Daily. But they have hidden the word dead and only mention the words, the Chinese Communist Party. However, the word dead can be clearly seen in photos posted on the People's Daily Online and Xinhua.net. Now, Ping Tang, as you can see to the right, is a high mountain valley in Gai Zhu, it's, it's a weird pronunciation. I, the reason I'm having a difficult time with this is because I listened to it in two different dialects, and now my mind is fighting each other on which one to go with. So I'll just do Gaizu province in southwestern China. It's a village in Pingtang County, and it's a very scenic spot spanning over six square kilometers. Now, let's jump back to the image again and you can see here the carving the way that it was discovered it was determined that the hidden word stone fell from a high mountain cliff on the cliff one can see a corresponding gap from where the rock must have fallen after the megalith fell it split into two forming a gap wide enough to accommodate two people the two sections are seven meters long, three meters tall, weighing in at 100 tons. Now the large brush written characters of the Chinese Communist Party dead can clearly be seen on the right behind the fracture. Three months later, the Chinese Scientific Culture Inspection Group in Pingtang and the Geological um, Anomalies Department was formed to investigate the hidden word stone. The 15-person team included people from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the Assistant Director of the Chinese Academy of Geological Sciences, an expert on aerial geology, geographic charts, renowned geologists, professors, from the China University of Geosciences and committee member of National Geoparks. Now, these experts believe the hidden word stone is roughly 270 million years old. <laughs> Jeez. So, First of all, if this is really a 270 million year old carving, wow, that's incredible. And you can see here's another image. You can see the, let's see if I can move that a little bit for you. There you go. 
you can see that clearly there is an engraving in the stone there. Now, the question is, this seems really political to me. So the way that it was written from left to right, not right to left, also creates another strange question. And then you think, could this be a political sabotage type deal? Could this be created for just a tourist? Absolutely. But why would they put dead in the Communist Party? That just doesn't make any logical sense. Then you think, well, could it, could it be time travelers? Well, you know, that's, that's about as far out there as you're going to get in the fringe department. So how does this, could, could this have been some black ops, western, alphabet agency guys that did this? But then don't you think China would have just hushed it up? Maybe it is 270 million years old. <laughs> and and let's, say, let's say this stone is 270 million years old. Then what? What does that mean? And then, then how do we come up with a, a new blueprint for our history? I mean, that's so far before the Anunnaki even came into play that it begs the question, have we done this over and over and over? Is this like a cyclical event and we hit the, the peak and then something happens to where most of us start over and then maybe a few make it to another level of vibrational frequency I'm going to share with you multiple ooh parts I'm going to do a lot of digging into these out of place artifacts for example I've got some images of a screw that's dated to be over a hundred million years old inside of a specific mineral deposit. How did that get there? And that's one of thousands of ooh parts. Many of these ooh parts have been suppressed and hidden from the public for years, for obvious reasons. And there's large institutions like the Smithsonian that have so much power and influence and oftentimes they will get this data and this evidence and these artifacts and these U-parts before the public will ever have a chance to. And they stay in certain realms within you know, certain communities, scholarly, their own ideas and interpretations are based and predicted and put to these U-parts. And then when the public finally does get little bits and pieces of them, they have to come up with their own conclusions. And then the scientific community oftentimes will disagree because they want to stick within their own parameters. Sometimes nobody's right. Sometimes the scholars are right. Sometimes the conspiracy theorists are right. Sometimes they're both right. Wouldn't it be great if we could all just work together and be able to have an open mind in conjunction with the scientific communities and the scholarly communities and these universities that have a lot of this information and, and archaeology and suppressed artifacts, etc., and bones and records and data points that most of us don't have access to. And when we do, we just have a very limited spectrum available, and we have to do our own research outside of the box. I mean, if this is a 270 million year old carving, the possibilities are endless and they're incredible. They're absolutely incredible. So what do you think makes the most logical sense? And what do you think is the correct answer? Question everything. YouTube.com slash clandestine timelord and leakproject.com. Be the change you want to see.